Have you guys heard of the B side word? The zombie fungus. No. It's no. wild. So you might find it in maybe like Brazil, mm. in the rain, like deep in the rainforest or whatever. And there's these like overhanging tree thingies. Specifically, they hang at 25 centimeters from the floor. All right. So this is a video of the Opiocositis <laughs> unilateralis. Unilateralis. Which is basically the zombie fungus plant thingy. Zombie fungus plant taking over a ant colony or just an ant? This is showing different ants. Insects. Oh, different one. Different right. ants. D taking over ants. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Fungi and slime molds race to decompose dead matter on the forest floor. Many spread by releasing spores. Up to 30,000 a second. And I forgot to mention, you know how I mentioned the 25 centimeter thing? Yeah. When the ant climbs up, it if literally latches on at 20, no more than the the right at 25 centimeters on the top. takes root. Wow. <laughs> it can colonize a whole new area. It's dramatic. Very. I know. But not all fungi feed on the dead. Days ago, a spore landed on this ant. Now she's acting strange. It's like a horror the ant movie. Network yeah. of roots <laughs> has infiltrated her muscles. Can this stuff affect us? Her body has been taken over by cordyceps. Cordyceps. A parasitic fungus. So it goes up 25 centimetres above ground because that's considered to be the optimal Drugging for fungal growth due to its humidity wise. level and temperature. Compelling her to yeah. head where conditions are perfect. I reckon we should kill this plant. <laughs> Just the right amount of light. Just the right amount of humidity. For the parasite growing inside. Forces her to clamp down in a death bite. And Cordyceps reveals its gruesome nature. Oh my gosh! This is Alien 3! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have nightmares actually about this. What the hell is this? This is fast forwarded, you understand, right? It's not just like. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Cordyceps can release its own spores, infecting more ants, releasing more spores, infecting more ants, releasing more spores, infecting more ants, infecting more ants. Oh my god! It's a full on horror movie! <laughs> Cordyceps can wipe out entire ant colonies. Wow. Isn't that wild? But more that than is. just ants are at risk. More than not, there's more than just ants. Oh, that's a cocoon. There are over 600 species of cordyceps spread across the world. Most are found in jungles, where they prey on a whole host of victims. How do you kill it? Stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> if all it takes is a spore, it's pretty scary. I'm assuming there's a. Oh, that was hot. That was Bear Grylls talking. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm assuming there's a Hostile strong plan. correlation between the size of the animal it infects. And it being able to mm. infect them. I agree. There was yeah. quite a big tarantula there, it looked like, though. But anyway. Yeah, they can't get past my toes. 
but you're told to become part of the uh, Murph, mate, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of just goes. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna. S- I, 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 I am never gonna sleep again. But it was. I wrong. know. I, 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 as someone that can get nightmares, yeah. Ah. 